Okay, so this is the next area that we're going to. Um, but I think this will be a long conversation. So we're going to do this tomorrow. A boy bobs in the water. Harry the boy. It says number 11 on it. Lots of people out there miss- Oh, these heavy military blockades are riddled with bullet holes crumbling. Oh, this is the edge of this area as well, so... I'm leaving this because I want to find... There's 100% going to be one of those bugs there. There is. It's just going to be an impossible check. But we'll come back when we're more prepared. Maybe because your category was that high, volition was never a problem. Yeah. I really like having the volition. Uh, so we're being... Is this where that man with his child is? Oh, he was here, right? But they've gone because it's night time. This is the bridges that we crossed over. Why am I not running? Stop. Do we have stamina? And then this leads to the church, right? Yes, okay, I've got my barons. This is the church here. This is good. Like, why can't we pick up this tear? I want to go on a beach clean. He'll return when it's morning, you think? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so this is where she hid the things. Where are we even going to find the helmet? I wonder if... We don't. I'm definitely keeping my eyes open. So this is where we were just up. With that building that we can't get in. Cool. I don't know why we can't run. <laughs> Maybe it's bugged? Alright, oh, so the next thing we're going to do is inspect the library card. Yeah, I'm double clicking. Like, he sets off as if he's gonna run and then he just stops. Right. Let's see if this guy is... I think he's gonna be the husband. The library card is folded into two and still slightly wet to the touch. The front side reads, Central Jamrock Public Library Card, issued to Billy Mejean, expires Mejean. July 53. Hmm, I don't recognize the name. Billy is a unisex name. Could be the deceased or his family member. Look inside. Whoever owns this card is an avid reader. You find a list of books written in blue pencil. Radio thriller. Stand a little less between me and the sun. The last one in the list is The Glinton Curve by M. Theobald. A library stamp indicates that the book has been returned. The Glinton Curve. Most of these titles seem to be in the sci-fi genre. Uh, Some thrillers too. I don't remember what genre she said she likes to read. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I meant to listen to see how, pro how to pronounce that, but I didn't. Oh. Okay, look at the backside. If lost, please return the card to the library. Dial. Zero zero five zero two Ooh. five five two one one, or visit us at Moreau Street seventy eight Jamrock. Business hours nine hundred to eighteen hundred. We could go back to the phone. The narrator seemed to say it with a th like think. You always say it with a hard T, a hard T. <laughs> like tibia or thomas yeah 
<laughs> Hardcore <laughs> to the mega. <laughs> we should give them a call from my kinema. See if we can oh. learn anything about Billy Mejan. Okay, so we're gonna use the car. If that's what the kinema is. Right, so we're gonna call the public library. I'm solving this before we call the other person. Uh, yeah, I just have a feeling I can't remember what that woman's books were. Maybe, maybe it's her latest lover, and and it wasn't an accident after all. Yeah, I think my run might be bugged. I may just reload the game. Yeah, give me one second. This is the same one, right? I guess. It does seem very suspicious. Two deaths, a noob right here. No, <laughs> wasn't me. Well, maybe we're just too tired to run. It is night time. Oops, that's not the tab button. Oh my god, so he just walks even slower just to wind me up. Gotta remember those cigarettes were at that radio tower as well. On one hand, I feel like it's probably worth learning how to do the fast travel. On the other hand, like, you miss things, won't Like, you might find new things. <laughs> Scribble between the thighs of page three girl. Lawrence do disco. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um... Right, I'm gonna check and see if that woman's over there. We've still got like over half an hour. Oh, we had to talk to Renee again. Oh, she's gone. Oh, now we're running. Now we're running with a single click. You can use fast travel from the whirl in the village and the church. So when I was out there, I could have just fast traveled to the whirl in. That would have helped. But I wouldn't have found out about that page tree girl. <laughs> I guess we can do the radio now with the library card. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheat. This is precinct 57. How may I assist you? Um, connect me to Jamrook Public Library, please. I'm afraid they're closed. It says here that the library is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Fuck you, then. We should try again. <laughs> Why wouldn't a library be open at nearly 9 p.m.? Anything else, detective? Nah, that's 57, good. over and out. In the cabin, you see... I mean, we could read that cockatoo book right now. Was there anything else we had to... Let's check our checks. How about we check our checks? First. All right, these are unlocked again. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to save more clothes. Did you somehow swap the controls? It might make. It might be something to make running easier. If I did, I don't know how that happened because I haven't been in the controls. But it could have. I could have done something. Hmm. So this one is not something we can do yet. We don't have the right tools. We don't have the right tools for this one. That's gone. That's gone. Rene. Nope. Wait, we, we're going to talk to Rene. That's what we're going to do. And then we've just got these rhetorics to do. 
Oh, we could try and do... Oh, we've just came from there. But we can see... Yeah, I can't believe I've just been double clicking that whole time and we've been going slow when I could have just been single clicking and, and running. <laughs> um... Rhetoric. Rhetoric. Am I wearing anything with a minus? I think I had glasses or something though, didn't I? No. Was it just the polo shirt? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, because I didn't have anything before, did I? Okay, it's fine. Let's just check out Curiosity. Everything still cool here, officer. Fifty-eight percent. No need to twist <laughs> this one up. Just tell him what you want. Oh no! You, I want your money now. Oh, okay. Not again. But why, officer? It could, it turned out all right last time, so I'm just going to follow the same conversation path. I don't want to try and bribe him. Ah, them. yes. Are you trying to ask for a bribe? If so, <laughs> you're not doing a very good job. <laughs> sorry, detective. <laughs> He's like, sorry. Sorry that you're so shit at taking bribes. Okay, well. Was there something in here that I wanted to check? Tomorrow we've got the church thing to do, the husband thing to do. Yeah, we've got, we've got plenty to do. Oh, and the library thing. Was the thing up here? All the old boomboxes are there, blinking and waiting to whirl. All but one, yours. Okay, I didn't know if there was something for those kids. Wow, a very large red t-shirt with an impressive print stands out from the other car. Ooh. Oh yeah, the print depicts a muscled man striding toward you. A giant sword in each hand, encircled by burning embers. Ooh. Behind him is a cluster of cabins engulfed in flames. Beneath him are the words, Hyeondal burning. Um, so old man, you can now see that I'm wearing my you want to give me a sandwich shirt and I promise not to explain how communism means you should give it to me this time as long as you hand it over. <laughs> the book guy, yeah? This is, um, <sighs> that series of books that we were going to... She recommended one to us and we found one that we liked, right? Um, let's sniff it. Smells like worn cotton and a little old sweat there. Mm. Worn cotton with a side of flea market or trash bin. Mm. Sniffing is okay, but please don't try anything on. Can't have you leaving your photon emissions in the fabric of things you're not going to buy. The one with the woman on the cover and uh, whips or something, I don't know. <laughs> Conan the Barbarian knockoff. Oh, yeah. That's a rad man from Heimdall t shirt you got there. No, that's a rad <laughs> man from Heimdall t shirt you've got there. Hell yeah, man. I don't usually carry printed tees, but this one was just pure exemplar. Uh, exemplar, what does that mean? I want to say we've got a lot in common. I wouldn't go so far as to oh. say that I'm a fan, but I do think that Yom Dalaman saga Yom is an Bella. integral part of our shared Bell. reality. Yom, Yom Bell. Bell. <laughs> 
an integral part of our shared reality. It means exemplary. Pure exemplar. Exem okay. So it means he really liked it. Most people don't think that the man from Yelmdell really Yelmdell. existed. But they're wrong. <gasps> he thinks they existed? Okay. What do you mean that he was real? I mean, even if the man from Yelmdell didn't exist before the adventure novels, the stories have made it so that he has. It's simple, really. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Kim. You sound skeptical. It's not that complicated. All that's required is a more robust understanding of cause and effect. I mean, he is a real fictional character. Right? Besides, I've been to Kotla. Though not quite as far north as the Hjelmdal and watched northern lights travel across the sky. Very unique energetic tides there. <laughs> of course he went to the northern lights. But that doesn't mean this character's real. What are you talking about? You believe him. You have read a book that made real life non-existent. <laughs> His theory isn't exactly incoherent, but its logic does suggest some unusual neural activity interesting yeah 100 percent northern scandinavia vibes it feels very nordic um unusual neural activity maybe this will unlock the check again stop talking about this nerd stuff it will make you weedy weedy <laughs> buy the damn shirt already <laughs> it's powerful so talking about it's weedy, but the shirt is powerful. I mean, I need to buy the shirt. How much are you selling it for? Two real. Ooh, sold. That's dirt cheap. Couldn't you just give it to me for free then? But why? Uh, oh, perhaps I could repay you in some other way. What are you talking about, Harry? I'm nervous. Um... I am a superstar, no. Because I'm a broke cop. I sympathize, I do. But this is a for-profit enterprise. Physical instrument and shivers. Look at that t-shirt. Conceptualization like this guy is so high. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. Wait, I wanna see... Two real. That's dirt cheap. But why? I wanna see, perhaps I could pay with you... Repay you in some other way. Are dealing goods, not services. Okay, fair enough. Right, I'm buying it. Welcome to Hjelmdal, officer. Thanks. I love t-shirts with a little smell of sweat on them. Are you going to try and pay in net worth? <laughs> yeah. Is that okay? That must have come in since we were here before because we couldn't... I'm sure I wouldn't have missed that. We need to try on our new t-shirt. Look at that! With our bow tie! <laughs> our physical instrument. Oh, but we already have a physical instrument top. Oh no, this one's better though. I've lost my t-shirt. Plus this one gives shivers, it just makes us less authoritative. But I'm putting my other clothes back on for now. I might put my conceptualization. Wait, I'm gonna change my jacket again. Mm. What jacket should I wear? I need to rearrange my wardrobe again. I could put my visual calculus jacket on. It did unlock the check again! Right, we've got this this time. We're gonna find out what Roy is smoking. Right, electrochemistry time. Oh, 
Where's all my electrochemistry clothes? All right. Flary pants. Gloves. Oh, I didn't buy the electrochemistry sunglasses. I could go and buy them. I thought we had more stuff than that. Let's check we're not wearing any that makes it go down. No, okay. Giraffe, hello. Welcome back to organizing with noob. You have to have an organized wardrobe. How's it going? Time to get high starts via clothing. <laughs> That's good, Crafty. Right, I'm gonna check because I might go and buy those sunglasses. Hello again. How can I help you? Yeah, the folder wasn't electrochemistry, no. All right, this is as high as it can get, right? We can't get any higher than this. So we've got Roy's prices are strange. Roy doesn't really sleep. Odd brain activity. <laughs> plus all of our clothes, plus six. All we need to do is not get a 1-1. One -one. That's all we need to do. Feeling warm and enthralled by the movement we of light it. while the mind continues to race forward. Lucky bastard. He's probably on Parolidon. It's tough to come by on the street. Parolidon? Why did it take us so long to figure that out? <laughs> we can, I know. <laughs> Too perfect for the setting. <laughs> You're in a bit of a food coma. Nice. What did you eat? You are very high right now. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Per Pia Holden. A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects. And it makes oh. your eyes turn yellow. He's on parochies. Um, prevent to treat radiation sickness. Do you think he's got, he might have radiation sickness? If you could take off your sunglasses, I'd like to check your eyes. Or maybe it's just for fun, I don't know. Is it just me or is it really warm in here? I don't know where we're going with this. I try to keep the shop at a comfortable temperature. There's a note of indignation in his voice. Interesting. Hmm. Crafty with the A plus callbacks. <laughs> um. Um. I probably did loads of. Oh, this is not smooth at all. But I'm gonna try it. I've had to take it, you know, since the people's pile cleaner. I was with the Emergency Relief Brigade. He's taken for mental and emotional, not physical pain these days. People's pile clean up with the Emergency Relief Brigade. What's the, yeah, the people's pile, what's that? It's not like a pile of dead people, is it? A bad idea. Some poor leftist built a particle decay generator in hopes of bringing affordable electricity to underserved communities. Oh. It malfunctioned. Radioactive waste everywhere. Probably some of it in you too. Are you ill of sushi? <laughs> oh, right. The all you can eat sushi opened up again around crafties too. So you did that the other day. Get in. So he's got radioactive poisoning because they tried to create a new source of energy. Tell me about the emergency relief brigade you were part of. We were an all volunteer force, self organized, tried to help the fire brigades contain the spill. On the patch, gamma radiation lines crossed with a red drop of blood. Tough son of a gun, this one. Respect. Yeah, I'm seeing you in a new light, Roy. I lived by the river since I was a small boy. The Esperance. Didn't have the art to let it all go to shit without trying to do something to help out. 
There wasn't much the volunteer force could do, however. We wasted years in the river mud. Years getting sick. Aww. That's really sad. Obviously wouldn't have had any, like, of the freaking like, should be wearing hazmat suits and shit. Must have been tough, radioactive cleanup. There's a reason why everyone's tried to forget any of it ever happened. And why no one has tried to repair or replace the pile. Where is the pile? So much disappointment. An early death. Cancer mostly. Mm. And we knew all that was coming even as we were cleaning up as best we could. Whose fault was it? No one's. Everyone's. Mm. Oh, Roy. So much bitterness. A bunch of poor people built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor, hoping for the best. What do you think is going to happen? I know, I mean, that is very irresponsible. Like, you gotta respect freaking nuclear things, right? How did you end up running a pawn shop? The cleanup happened 15 years ago. I was young then. Later, my second aunt died. Left me this shack and all the assorted junk in it. Oh, so he inherited it. So I came to Martinez. People told me don't go there. It's a shithole. I said, people, we just had a nuclear pile meltdown. I'm gonna get as far away from Forberg as I can. Forberg. Still in the same city, but... Hey, I think that's... I've enjoyed getting to know you, Roy. I like the theory more than the story. Outward movement, not vortices. Yeah, you gotta get in on those vortices, my man. Can you, like, um, share some with me? You said you'd done it before, yeah? I think so. The lieutenant steps away, <laughs> pretending to admire some of the knickknacks on display. <laughs> Kim. Looks like he doesn't want to get involved. I love Kim. Kim's the best. Go ahead then, he thinks. As long as you can walk straight, I don't care. <laughs> he won't be your knock, but he won't be thrilled about this either. Um, I think I've tried it once and liked it. I don't know. Here you go, man. Whoa, he's not even charging us? Yes, darling. That's the coalition government ordained Parolidon. Straight into your gut. I'm, I don't know why I'm just collecting drugs from people. Of course. Nice. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, I bought your t-shirt. You definitely owe me drugs for that. I love that he wouldn't give me the t-shirt, but he gives me the drugs. Look him like that again. Ooh, chocolate mousse with strawberries sounds delightful. So, this is a drug. Lowers health, but adds psyche points. I'm gonna put it there with my other drugs. Um, alright, I actually really need to go for a quick pee break. All that Luke is it. <laughs> So I'm gonna have a, I'll put clippies on. I'm gonna have a quick break and I'll be not very long. Uh, hold on. Yes, I shall not be long. Let us continue. I feel much better. So I'll just check you this. You see rows of toy soldiers mm. guarding the rest of the trinkets. Display. No, it's the same. Uh, we've checked all those recently as well, so I'm so glad we got a new t-shirt. You might not like it, but this is what peak stream performance looks like. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> is that... Is that a quote? <laughs> now I always assume everything everyone says is a quote and that I'm whooshing. Oh yeah, the Portal 2 co-op with Brox. 
It was something, wasn't it? Doing it again where I'm double clicking and it just wants me to single click. So we've got to pass like 20 minutes and then we can go and speak to that guy. So let's see if we can talk to Renee because there were some questions that I hadn't asked. I like playing in the dark. Sharpens your nocturnal instincts. Feels like being on recon again. Okay, um, I understand. Oh, I've forgotten. Jenny Marie meant a lot to you. There's nothing for you to understand here. It is not her death you are investigating. Uh, were the circumstances of her death in any sense unusual? Absolutely not. She died of pneumonia in her bed at the age of 79. This is highly usual. Okay, I'm just checking, I'm just checking. Oh, Jeannie. Almost sounds like John. Jeannie. I know they said it before and it didn't sound how I imagined that it s sounded, so... <laughs> it's not Jeannie. <laughs> I need them to say it again. Think French. Jean. 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 Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> um, your co-op with Heidi was really not that funny. You are very stick up your ass, focused on solving this. Didn't interact at all. Oh, we just messed about. But I like that you can do it either way, you know? Not everyone is going to want to mess around. But it's an option for the people that do. Which I think is a really good... Makes it a really good game. If you never stop wishing, you can never start wishing. Think smart. I like that, Giraffe. I like it. It was quite funny when you were thinking so hard and accidentally killing each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't imagine there ever being another game that can replicate that. But we've still got a few to play. I'm going to do Unravel next i think i think unravel will be my next game pass game so then we can do unravel 2 um well i think if you ever tried to replicate it you couldn't like you've just got to take things how they are but i mean like when we played sea of thieves the other day that was really funny like that was great um on stream you think I like unravel, unravel a lot? It has so much heart. Yeah. All I can remember was from the demo how absolutely stunning it was. And I just remember being in awe of it. So I think I'm going to like it as well. Um, Righty ho. Where was the photo taken? He's not going to like us asking this. Revachal Fair 91 in the Thorberg district. A parade was held to honor Guillaume Lillian's name day, and the Carabineers marched in the place of honor. You looked happy in the picture, smiling. This was the happiest day of my life. Oh. What happened with you? With all of you? <laughs> I was 22 when I returned from King Guillaume's Akira operation in the south and found my sweetheart in the arms of this wretch. This wretch, but you're still playing balls together. I won her back, but while I was dealing with some issues. All right. You were like a dark cloud sucking the joy out of every living thing around you. And you, you hurt her. Oh no, maybe he was having some like PTSD if he was the veteran. I, uh, I... Those days and memories are gone. Does he mean literally hurt her, like, physically? Yikes, if that's the case. The old soldier says nothing, but when his glance quickly runs over Gaston's face, there's an odd look in his eyes. These have such a strange history. We, I think the sandwich it check is, is such locked. It's a pleasure to see you <gasps> again, officer. How may I head the citizens' militia? On it's not locked. 
Try, try, time to dress rhetorically. Let's just see if it even goes off. It's polo shirt, right? The polo shirt was the only one, but we had to take our glass. Nope, we had to take something off. Oh, we didn't get back changed after the electrochemistry thing. Yeah, we need to just change our clothes again. It is such a pleasure to 17%. see you again, officer. How but may I head the citizens' militia on this fine day? If we could get a few more clothes. You unlock the sandwich when you unlock the other rhetoric. Yeah, yeah, not... Um, trying to get that not bribe. <laughs> yeah, it's... um. I remember now, because I said... I was going to try them all again, but then I decided no. I'm going to wait until I get some more clothes. I remember it now. Uh, right, what are we going to... What were we wearing before we went? Our shirt. This could be Renee's shirt. Hmm. I, want, I really want to sort my clothes out again. Right, coats go at first. All right, these are clothes. These are ones that are useless to me now. Down at the bottom. So coats. Do I have another coat? Guess not. Tops. Oh yeah, I do have another coat. There it is. That was a noisy coat. Tops. Do I have another top? No. Oh, we could buy that other coat from the guy and then we have a full set of courts well i don't know if that's all of the courts but all right trousers so got jeans with trousers in fact let's swap them around all right we have got we can have a full row of glasses here. And then we've got... I guess I can put the shoes there. I can put the gloves there. Ties can stay at the bottom. And the hat can go there. There we go. Nice and organised. Like, my brain can't function if I don't do these things. I'm sorry. <laughs> Right, we've still got 13 minutes to pass, and I don't want to report the body yet. Um, you remember when the indie dev was on the big E3 stage presenting the game and being so nervous he could barely get a word out, but he really sold his passion on the game. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I love that. Harry about to try and make yet another murder investigation. Yeah, about Jean. jean -y. I remember he had a little Yanni critter and everyone thought it was so cute. Oh, that's such a wholesome story. The lights are so pretty when it gets dark. Right, composure is still locked. We haven't unlocked anything else either, have we? Just the rhetoric. I want to unlock this logic again. Oh, that's why we kept unlocking the rhetoric because we needed to try and get the better of Titus. Which we just sucked off. Have we really, have we got to a point now where we've got nothing to do? Until, well not nothing, but nothing that's short enough. Oh, what's this? You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Oh, 
Wait. Oh, because we found the sunken motor carriage. Okay, hold on. Let me... This is a white check. Why am I looking at this? Cop habit. You look at everything. Our car was in there where the dead body is? Yeah, I've never seen this before. Hmm. This isn't case related, you think? Even you managed this? I think that we just opened it because... How have we not seen that? Because I use tab all the time and I, I even found that. You visual calculus, what happened very well. Oh shit. What kind of vehicle drove through here? Hard to say. I mean... The tire tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Start... Oh, we broke this? If we were parked up here, because we're staying here or something, we... Crashed in here, reversed back to turn around. And that's when we just drove over the building. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there. And then accelerated straight into the fence. Left a hole big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager. What happened next? The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Yeah, this is all us. This thing has been here from the start of the game. I don't know how you didn't see it before. <laughs> Fuck. Before heading south. Must have been in a hurry. Maybe I thought I'd already looked at it and I hadn't. This is where I started off with my motor carriage before sinking it in the sea. No wonder the cafeteria manager seemed frustrated when he was giving us directions to the yard. Well, you did provide us with a very convenient access point to the crime scene. That's a silver lining for sure. <laughs> I love Kim. Okay. Oh well, we at least that was an easy check. Yeah, you didn't get that ending part though, since you were here first. There's the nothing more here, is there? Been. A bit more worn, perhaps. Oh, I'll tell you what I was gonna do. I was gonna go and look and see. Oh, that's past a bit of time. I was gonna go and look and see if we could click on that sign again, now that we've figured it out. I might buy that coat. Although I don't know where we'll get any more money for, from now and I want- Oh, the sign's gone. Okay, we can't. Yeah, I don't know where we'll get any more money from now because I want to save up the 50. I know I've looked at these so many times. Shine on these. And I stylish always forget. Shades, huh? They'd be even more stylish if you paid for them with net worth. Go over and ask him. Electrochemistry and Inland Empire are the two. Mm. Can we rummage These again? These are all. Those UV stickers. These are all no. first rate sunglasses. Premium design. Oh, I do have bottles. That's a good point. You keep coming back. That's good of. If he re save the economy, that sounds off. What are you talking about? This is new. Haven't you heard, officer? We've got to be economically conscious. Recycle your cash, keep it in circulation. Don't buy new things. Buy eco. Uh, I'm just gonna say this just to see what the conversation says. This doesn't make any sense. What exactly does the econ Why exactly does the economy need saving? Look around, officer. You see all these premium goods just sitting there, not getting bought. We've got to keep the flow of goods moving. Is this really the economy we want to leave to our children? Uh, <laughs> but I don't have children, I think. 
<laughs> I'm gonna say that. Too bad, officer. Kids make it all worthwhile. Without kids, who's going to be around to enjoy the economy? <laughs> Don't let me stop you. Open the box and browse a little. That's one way of looking at it, I guess. I'm buying the coat. Gotta prepare for springtime, right? I can't stop myself. I do you know when the last time I bought clothes was in real life? I don't know. That's how long ago it was. Oh, look at it. I like it. Look at the colorful arms. <laughs> we can rock this. Sir. <laughs> Composure, keep your cool. Oh, and then we lose shivers because it's weatherproof. <laughs> Okay, uh, but I do I do want my other jacket back on. <laughs> I just bought it so I can keep it in my in my wardrobe. <laughs> That'll do. Last time you bought clothes in real life was 2018. I really need some new clothes, like desperately. I need to sort out all my clothes though. Something on my list of things. I might do it tonight. I might do it over the next 24 hours that I'm staying awake for. <laughs> I feel like I can get so much done in these 24 hours. Let me check with you in case you'll talk to us. Oh look, it's the cop who turned me into a bad person. Okay, so he will talk to us. Not that he likes to. You were wondering but you actually got a good chilling dress for summer last week. Ooh, lovely crafty. I've been wearing dresses lately. Three T's, how idiomatic. So I suppose it was even more of a surprise for me to figure out it was us driving the car. Because I didn't even know it had come from the whirling. <laughs> the tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals ten cents. Technically, you are staying up for more than 24 hours because you're going to sleep tomorrow at 9 or something. Yeah, it'll definitely be more than 24 hours. 28 hours or something. Uh, okay. Your bottles clunk 60. into the machine and the money appears. Do We're you not know spending it on alcohol. Shut up. Electrochemistry. I really want a, another point in volition so I can try and go through those filing cabinets in the harbour. But yeah, I was that's right, I was saving my volition because I only have one more go at, re, at unlocking them. What's that doing? All oh, right, I'm gonna head to the apartments. We've got to pass six minutes. I can talk to Cindy. Maybe talk to the cleaner if she's there. Yeah, we have a lot of points. I could start putting them into some of the things. I've got four points. Like I've been uh, buying extra slots as well. So well, I haven't like just as I've been. Because there's no point in forgetting things when we can just unlock another one for the same price. Unless it's something that actively hurts us. Oh, there's a new thing. This wasn't here before. We must just have, like, maybe it's a perception thing. When you've got a lower perception, you don't see things as well. Because actually, right, that had a yellow square about, around it. And the fence also had a yellow square around it. I feel like if I went back to my VOD, that wouldn't have been highlighted. I've definitely already looked at these. This coin operated viewer. Yeah, Cindy's there. Hello again, officers. 
Have you come to admire my mural? Nothing to say. See you later. <laughs> Are we going to find anything in here? Maybe I could just try and read the book. Yeah, how about you admire our mural? We put a lot of work into that. Have you got anything new to say? Give me a moment. Alright, bye. We've already... Oh. Waves crashing in the darkness. Excuse me. That was like an inhale -y. Like an um, opposite burp. <laughs> oh, look, see, all of these yellow things weren't here before. Oh, we've just refunded our jacket. <gasps> oh, it's money. I thought it might have been boots, like we could take the boots. Oh, we can also press on all the doors again. Maybe it changes each day. Because we couldn't press on the back of the toilet either. Oh, wow, we found some Commodore Red in the toilet. Yikes. <laughs> One whole cent. I really thought we might have been at least getting the boots. But yeah, look at more morale. I'm very happy to have more morale. Moss crawls on those bathroom tiles. Actual moss. The cleaning lady isn't doing the best job, is she? Like, I know she's old. I don't mean to be mean. Well, we found some alcohol. We could drink it and that would be one of our things, but I don't really want to. I was going to try and be clean. Is there anything new in, in the apartment in Kuno's place? No. Oh, he's still snoring. Let's get out of here. Six minutes still. Nothing new in there. Did you report the other body yet? No. <laughs> I was gonna contact the um, library first. I wanna solve this case myself. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. A poor communard from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. This is the police. Do I have to open the door? Oh yeah, she wants Let's a warrant. Go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. Later then. Entering this door seems a physical Ooh. challenge. I do like a physical challenge. It's generally easier to do things if you have literally any reason. <laughs> yeah, we got that one before. I love that if you go back to something but your points are different, you'll get extra you'll get different lines. I wonder if Cindy's got anything to say up here. Yeah, more tasks after Kim leaves. Exactly. See if we can go and break into that random woman's apartment. <laughs> Maybe she deserves it, I don't know. Oh, there was this up here, but it doesn't see it doesn't highlight anymore. Come on, six minutes. Oh. Oh. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire? Nope. I'm gonna check your call room though and see if you've got anything in here. So yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I've got another mental list of things that we need to do tomorrow in game. There was just not enough time. A hundred tiny feet scurrying beneath the grate, the rats of the city. This is my bedroom when I go and visit Crafty and Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Noob is Cindy. I do paint murals. Swimming in rats. I can't wait. That's the dream. I can't believe I've totally invited myself to Crafty and Shadow's house. <laughs> I'll just show up one day and they'll be like, uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Have you played Plague Tale? I haven't, but I've watched it. I watched Odds play through, I think, and then I watched some of Miro's. Coming over next weekend. Oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> I wonder if there's cheap flights. <laughs> there's some great places to wander around here. It's very chill. Oh, that sounds so good. It sounds like just what I would need. I just, that is exactly what I want, you know, just to go somewhere and just be able to have a wander about, take some photos without any responsibilities. But, um, yeah, I can't go anywhere, anywhere, anyway at the moment because I can't really leave Roz. She's quite a big responsibility. <laughs> Which airport would you have to fly from? <laughs> anywhere, like, when I've flown before, I've got the train to Manchester, but it all adds up. <laughs> Manchester is actually the easiest one to get to because I can get a direct train to the airport but Newcastle's closer <sighs> where's the balcony <laughs> there's the balcony he's pressing the wrong thing You often flew from Manchester too, even when you were on the other side of the country. Never any good planes from Humber side. Manchester is a really good airport and it's easy to get to. Like it's really good that it just has its own... Like a lot of trains that go to Man Manchester end at Manchester airport. So it's it makes it really easy to get to. It's a very good airport. Curtain shift just a little. Someone is watching from within. So which flat is... Oh, we can't get to this flat. We're still early. It's... There's still something to do with this door. We did try our tools, but I'm just going to check again. Nope. Nope. But we also still have a, an, a different tool to find so that we can open the ice cream freezer. You never had any problems flying from Edinburgh too. Oh yeah, I didn't even think of Edinburgh having an airport. You can make it work easily from your side. You just need enough time in advance to take some time off work. Oh, I'm going to Germany. <laughs> you would drive two hours, fly one and a half. Most of that over the route you just drove. Landed Hamburg. Then get a train for two hours in the opposite direction under the flight path. Oh my God. It's all good when things are out of the way. England to Germany must be a really short flight. I did England to Germany before and yeah, I fell asleep after we took off and I woke up and we were there. I was like, whoa. And I was also sat at the front of the plane where <laughs> the flight attendant had like a seat facing directly opposite me. So it was really embarrassing. I just woke up and I was like, oh my God, I've been asleep there the whole time. <laughs> It's usually around the hour mark, yeah. Flying to Greece is four hours, Cyprus is five. I also flew to Greece. 
Yeah, that was a longer one and I was so nervous. You only needed less than 30 minutes of the flight part. If only they could pick you up and drop you off on the way. Yeah, just just jump out. Just parachute out. Just put a waypoint on your mind map. <laughs> but yeah, awkward seat. Like you just wake up and they sat opposite you and I was like, oh God. <laughs> With flight attendants, it's fine though. They see this all the time that you will not stand out. I hope so. I just put a podcast on and I missed it all because I was... I had to zone out because I'm a really nervous flyer. <laughs> How am I going to pass six minutes? I also don't want to bug him if I'm stood here and he won't appear or something. Well, yeah, like when I went to Australia, my mum and dad drove me to Manchester Airport. But the drive was so awful that I was like, I'm getting the train back. Because like, it's more awkward to drive than it is just to get the train. Um, cleaning lady has new dialogue. If you ask about the apartments, perfect, thank you. That's exactly what I need. 